Well, pickleball has been surging in popularity over the last couple of years. Yeah, putting up a new sport can be a fun way to get active and improve your health. So we thought we'd send Marcy Jones to see what it's all about. Marcy, what are your thoughts this morning on the big pickleball craze? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, you're delusional if you haven't heard of it yet. Last night I was trying to do a little bit of research ahead of today's assignment because, you know, I'm a real journalist. I watched a documentary on pickles. It was jarring, but it had nothing to do with pickleball. All right, so let's go to the expert. Richard! Hang on. Richard's in the middle of a... Richard! Yes. Richard, we're live! Yes, live! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. We're alive. It's so nice to meet you. We're so excited to learn more about pickleball. I've yeah. heard about it. I've read about it. I've seen it. I don't know the rules, though. Can you try to explain it? Oh Maybe we can show a little what's going on and tell people about the rules. Well, the thing about pickleball yeah. is that it's more about finesse. Okay. It's more about driving a sports car and going through the gears than it is attacking. Oh, okay. All right. You oh, I like that. You like have that to analogy. learn to hit balls that are unattackable. Okay in order to not be attacked, right? So yes. while, while you're hitting unattackable balls, you're looking for something to attack. Right. Most people start out pick a ball, they bang, bang, bang. Okay. Here we're learning how to dink. I like this whole style, yes. Richard. This is good. This is like the yacht rock of sports, I feel like. It's Very about true. finesse. It's about massaging this sport, it's right? Control. It's, it's control. It's, it's so you don't want to come in here acting like, oh, I've done this before. I played tennis. This is a whole other ball game. Correct, correct. You can bring tennis skills, you can bring pick, ping pong skills, okay. racquetball skills. Is it a little skills. bit of a mixture of all of them? But you can only bring some of those sports. You okay. still have to learn pick a ball. What are some of the most common mistakes you see people make the first time they hit the court? Most common common mistake is they attack everything. They come, okay. out, they come out blasting. Okay. And they just bang back and forth and somebody hits it out. Who's blasting and banging around here? Right. Did, any, did any of these folks Everybody. come out blasting? <gasps> Everybody. Everybody <laughs> starts out blasting and banging. They're all offenders. I blasted and banged. You're a big blaster and banger? All I right. had well, to learn gotta... to integrate stuff. Got it. Now, Diane told me just a couple of minutes ago that she came back after a year out. How's she doing? She's doing great. Every, I mean, look at that. Everybody here is a good athlete. They've yeah. got good, good control, good skills. Right. This is the best sport for mixed company. Okay, right? yes, With different levels, wives, different ages, exactly. okay. Exactly, and mainly it's become super popular among retirees like myself. Yep. Well, you we wouldn't be able to tell. You look like you're 15, Richard. Come on. <laughs> this I, is incredible. I won't confess my name. <laughs> Not live, anyway. <laughs> But so again, really all levels is what you're saying. This, this is this is the kids coming back out to play again after we've raised our families. Oh, right? I love that. It's exactly what it is. We it's 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 a great sport for mixed company. Yeah. It's, would you say it's a social game too? It's the most social sport you will ever play. Have you made friends and acquaintances doing Hundreds. This? Yeah. Oh wow. Hundreds here. We've got a place in Texas. I've got a hundred there. Every time you get into a pickleball mix of people, they're all out Are they there. banging and blasting in Texas too? When they first start. When they first start. When they, but then they play with Richard. All out to have fun. And then it's and finessed. They, they want to learn the right I love it. I'm sure people are chomping at the bit on the other end of this camera trying to figure out, hey, this sport sounds incredible. How do I get involved? What's yes. the best way for them to best do that, Richard? Get, well, right here we are at the East Hartford Tennis Club. Okay. There's open play from 1 to 3 every Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. You just you just show up here. It's very inexpensive. Yeah. And that there's one court where an instructor will always be there to do drills. Oh, nice. So if okay. you call the club, you can learn how to get on the Team Reach app and sign up mm -hmm. and come in for open play and get your name on the list for drills, and you'll be able to learn some of the basic wow. skills and then work your way around and play. Now, it looks like you've got a nice Cracker Jack bunch here, mm -hmm. but is, do you have an open spot for anybody, I don't know, to bring wine to the court? Here, I got it. Don't worry. Look at me getting involved, you guys. Look, I can hand a ball to my fellow player. <laughs> bring wine to the court? No. <laughs> oh, Richard said no wine at the court, you guys. You have to have it on Wine Wednesday, and then you come to open play. What? What? What, what is it? Open play is 1 to 3, um, Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday. Okay. And also, we're building four new indoor pickleball courts right out here. Four new courts. And they'll be available in March. And we're going to tell you all about it when we come back in just a little bit. Guys, Mar it's so much good. fun. Marcy, do you know that the Rich name of the sport? Yeah. You, the name of the sport was named after East the... Hartford Tennis Club. No. The name of the sport was <laughs> named after the, own, the inventor's dog named Pickles. That was a fun No fact. way. So I'm telling you the oh truth. Oh, my gosh. you got to keep it kosher. Get out of here. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, what's better than a cold day than a nice bowl of homemade soup?